Algebra word problems number 16. Write, solve literal equations. A literal equation is one that uses one variable to define another variable. It has more than one variable in the equation. So take a look at these. These are all literal equations. What does it look like to you? It looks like a bunch of formulas, doesn't it? So an equation has two or more variables, you can consider it a literal equation. So we choose one variable and we use it to define the other variables. So remember, formulas are literal equations. Let's try this one. Bob and Dave drive to work each day and they travel 23.5 miles in three-fourths of an hour. What is their usual speed? If speed equals the distance divided by the time. Speed equals the distance divided by the time. That's the formula. So I underline what is their usual speed because that's what we need to find. So we plug in the numbers that we have in the word problem, the 23.5 miles for how far they traveled, that's the distance, and the three-fourths hour for the time. We had to change the three-fourths hour into a 0.75 so that it got along with the 23.5 miles. See? That way they're both decimals and we can do our math. I had to divide 23.5 by 0.75. So I had to move the decimal point over on the 0.75, which means I had to move it over on the dividend of 23.5, and it became 23.50 with the decimal point back here, which I raised above the dividing line to do the quotient, okay? So now, after doing all my division, it didn't come out to zero, but I knew I was going for miles per hour. I was going for their speed. So I didn't want little decimal points for their speed. I just wanted roughly 31 miles per hour. See? So I didn't need to know they went 31 and a third miles per hour. I just, 31 miles per hour is good enough, okay? Now, we can flip this formula around to find the time or distance. If we want to find the time, we could take the distance they drove, the 2350, and divide it by the speed they drove. See? And if we wanted to find the distance, we could take the speed of how fast they went and multiply it times the time, and that'll give us the distance. Take a look at this one. There's a number of cows on a farm, and there are eight more than three times the number of sheep. So how many sheep are there? So we're going to let C equal cow and S equal sheep. Now we don't know how many cows there are. All we've got is that there's eight more than three times. So that's telling me we're probably not going to come up with a numerical answer on this one. It's probably going to be an equation answer. So we think there's eight more, that means plus eight, then three times, that means three times something, the number of sheep. So since S is sheep, it's three S, three times the sheep. That means that three times the sheep plus eight is going to equal the cows. But that also means that we could subtract 8 from both sides and get 3s equals c minus 8. 3 times the sheep equals the cows minus 8. And then we could divide both sides by 3 because this means multiplication and that would be the inverse to divide it to get the s by itself. And then we end up with the number of sheep is equal to cows minus 8 divided by 3. And that is actually our answer. C minus 8 over 3 is our answer. And this becomes a formula to determine the number of cows and sheep. If the sheep increases, then this will, will increase. So if you had 20 sheep before and 25 cows, you could use this formula. If you have 30 sheep and 40 cows, you, it would just keep changing and you could keep getting the answer, see? So that is a literal equation. It's one that has more than one variable in it. And formulas are literal equations because they all have more than one variable in them, don't they? All right, I'm going to move to the next topic. I hope to see you there. Bye.